Okay, so after we exported the JSON files from Spine, let's start working on the Corona project files. So let's review what we, let's review what we have so far in the Corona project folder. So we have the the Spine project for the button and the JSON file that corresponds to this Spine project. We also have the orange guy JSON file and the corresponding spine project. And the same for the star, which has the spine project and the JSON file. Then we have the texture packer project that comes with a Lua and a PNG file that has the all the images in, in a single image sheet. So let's start working on creating the, the necessary files that we need for a Corona project. So let me start by going to my favorite editor for Corona. Let me create a new page. And this is going to be my main Lua file. Let me save it in the, the Corona project folder. So there it is. I also need a, a config. And I have a couple of, of snippet codes that come with text expander that allow me to quickly fill out the contents of the of this file. So let me start with the config. So that's done. And I also need a build dot setting. In here I also have a couple of text expander snippet codes that help me to fill out the, the content of this page. But you can use whatever settings are working for you for config or build.settings. It's up to you. Okay, so we have the three main files for a Corona project. Now let me, let's just start adding the, the important folders and files that we need in order to have a, a spinal animation running correctly. So the first one, we need a folder that is called spine-corona. Let me make a copy of that file over to, to the folder where I have the project. I prefer to use my own, my own files and not downloading the uh, I don't like to download these files from from the from the github pages because I found a couple of errors that I had to fix manually and because my files have been working correctly so that's why I'm, I'm using my own but if not you can get them from the github page of from the github page of the esoteric uh, esoteric software github so that's one spine dash corona I also need another fold, folder that is called spine-lua and this folder has a bunch of files. I also need a file that is called matrix.lua so there it is and finally I need the class that I made in order to make the implementation of spine a lot easier in Corona. It is called Spine Helper the Lua. Here it is. With that, I think I need all the necessary files. So now let's start working on the project itself. Here are all the files. So I'm going to start by by requesting by requiring the the module that I created. And this spine helper, it's this file over here. So I'm just requiring that file. Then I'm going to start by by working on a background. But before doing that, here on the build.settings file, I need to change the orientation. And the reason is because if you remember from the spine project, it is designed to be used in a landscape orientation mode. 
So I'm going to replace portrait portrait by landscape. So that should be it for build out settings. So let's continue. So now I need a, a background for our project. So let's see how how the project looks so far. So here's our project. So far it's only a, a blue background. So let's continue. Next I'm going to create a display group. This is not necessary but it's probably the most usual case that we're gonna have with an animation that we need to insert the animation in a specific display group so that's why I'm using one here the next step is to prepare a, a table with some initial settings so let me just copy and paste so I can make this video shorter this is just a table with some initial settings so let me explain what they are the first one is Spine JSON. Here we need the, the JSON file that we exported from, from Spine and because we are we are going to start with the orange guy. Let me just copy and paste that JSON file name over here. I also need the the PNG file that was generated by Texture Packer. So just copy and paste. And I need the Lua file that was generated by Texture Packer as well, but without the Lua extension. These two lines are just for debugging purposes, but uh, in just for now, I'm I'm going to leave them as true. The skin, we can get the skin name from the from our project in Spine. So let me open Spine. So the name of the skin and the name of the animation, we can get them from the Spine project. So let's go to Spine. And the first skin is orange guy and the other is green guy. So let me take note of that. And then the animation name, we can get it from the animation mode, from the animate mode. And here we have all the name of all our, of all the animations, which are walking, jumping, and falling. So I have everything I need for now, so let me close spine. Okay, so I'm going to replace the, the skin name with orange guy in the animation I want to run. It's walking. Here the anim loop it's telling me whether or not I want the animation to be looping forever. And because it's a walking animation, of course I want it to be looped. So I'm gonna set it to true. The scale is the size of, of the animation, I'm going to set it to 1. So I think our configuration table is ready. So the next step is to call, is to create a handle for the animation. In our case it's going to be orange guy. And we need to call the, the new method and pass the configuration table and then all I have to do is just place the orange guy 
in the anywhere on the screen in, in my case I'm going to set it in the middle of the screen and if I did everything correctly we should be able to have our, our orange guy walking on the screen and there it is if you remember we set up the project for an iPad so let me change the, the device to an iPad and that should be it this dot over here this green dot that is exactly on the middle of the screen if you remember that is a root bone and the root bone is very useful to us because it will help us to position the animation on the screen so let me move the let me change the Y position a little bit further down and let me see if that changes yeah so there so there's our character moving let me change the scale a little bit maybe half so that's that's how you place an animation on a Corona project as you can see it's a very simple all you have to do is place the important folders like spine-corona, spine-lua, metrics.lua and of course the spine helper class and in just a few lines of code you'll be able to to place an animation on the screen